Tank has never, Tank teams never gave you an offer. Never, not one time. No PBC, no not Mayweather once. promotions, not. Not once. They're not going to. You, how you know? Because he's not in the plan. What's the plan? It's not Devin Haney. Can he we said, get Buffalo Minori? He, said, he, said, he said, I'm fighting Mikey. Then I might fight Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. Mm. So he didn't pack he didn't mention Terrence, huh? <laughs> he didn't. All right, Seemed like we're going through the same thing as we did with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. The only difference is, well, two differences. Tank right now is at 135. Devin Haney is at 140. Another difference is they were waiting for the fight to build up. And it never happened. The fight didn't build up like they wanted it to. And actually, they wasted time. That fight should have happened five years ago. As far as the Tank Davis and Devin Haney fight goes, the money's already there. There's no A side or nothing. Basically, Javante Davis would go to the table and probably walk away with $25, $30 million for fighting Devin Haney in Saudi Arabia. Now his fanboys always talk about the money, how much Javante Davis is worth, how much he should get for fighting Devin Haney. When the money's there, there's a different excuse. They don't want to fight in Saudi Arabia. They want to fight in America. They want it in Vegas. But is that the problem? We can't make the fight in America? And now the Saudis are trying to make all the biggest fights in boxing. Try to bring the sport back to its peak, and these guys are complaining about it. How are you gonna call Tank Davis the face of boxing if he's not willing to face the tougher competition? And the kicker is the money's there. There are no more excuses. And the only reason I would think Tank wouldn't want to take that fight because he doesn't want to fight Devin Haney straight up. Or maybe it's his management team. Maybe it's not Tank. Maybe it's his management team. They don't want to take the fight straight up because they want Tank in favorable fights. They don't want him in 50-50 fights. And Devin Haney is a 50-50 fight. And so far, the Saudis have showed there ain't no layups. When they pay you all this money, you're facing tough competition. And maybe that's what Tank and his team don't want. The people need to see Joshua Fiore, Fiore Joshua, need to see Joshua Wilder. I, and I hope Wilder come back. You know, and there is rumor, and you know it. The fight it was being between Joshua and Wilder, yeah. but you see the result and the the body condition of jo uh, of Wilder now. It will not be reasonable to have the fight now. We want him to come back. And this is the complaint by Wilder fans in Wilder. They're saying, why didn't Anthony Joshua have the Wilder fight instead of fighting Wileen and Wilder fighting Parker? Did you see how Wilder looked against Parker? Could you imagine the excuses? And Wilder says time was off. He's coming from a 17 month layoff. You don't think those excuses would apply if he lost to Joshua? There have been the same excuses. Turkey Al Sheik said, flat out said that Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua right now is a mismatch. It would not have been right to put Wilder in the ring with Anthony Joshua, especially after a loss. And even Malik Scott said, that him and Deontay Wilder need to be more active. But Wilder and his fanboys, they just want to get in there with Anthony Joshua and collect the paycheck and come up with a bunch of excuses. If Wilder loses to Joshua, can you imagine how many excuses they're going to have? Especially if he took it off the rip. They'll be saying, well, oh, well, Joshua beat old Deontay Wilder. Oh, Joshua beat a Wilder coming off from a 17-month layoff. He waited a while to get old to fight him. I heard one Wilder channel talking about the reason he took the Zilly Zank fight is because they try to lowball him. They also talking about Saudi Arabia, which Saudi Arabia is trying to revamp boxing. They're trying to make the big fights that everybody wants to see. And the pay-per-view is at a decent price. It just sounds like to me, they would complain about money and that was a built-in excuse. Now the money is there to be had now there's no more excuses to face better competition. It just sounds like to me, and most of these guys are PBC fans. They don't want their favorite fighters in there with different competition. Just my opinion. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jake Beasy, I'm gone.